Hey, what's going on, everybody? Yugi Fire Four here. We are talking about my thoughts on the whole OCG ban, this type of thing. Everybody's pretty much done already, but our opinion's gonna be different. But so this is the OCG list that has come out. The V jumps, the proof. For those of you who still doubt it, this is the proof. V jump scans! Look at there! That's in the glory of the V jump! I had to say that. Anyway, it's a pretty small list, but let's go ahead and get started. I will. Get my thoughts on individual cards once I go over the list. So, first off, Forbidden, no longer being played unless you're traditional. Or is it advanced? Is it advanced? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, Wind Up Hunter and Ultimate Offering are banned. Limited the big four big dragon rulers and Wind Up Carriers and Mighty. At two is now the big daddy himself, Dark Armed, and Sacred Sword of Seven Stars. At three, Dark Strike Fighter, Tour Guide, and Torrental Tribute. So that's the entire list, which is pretty crazy. I don't know, I have this sinking feeling that there's more to this list. I don't know, I don't know, like, like I'm sure we all have had those little gut feelings where it's like, you think, like, you feel like something else is going to pop up or something bad's going to happen. I feel like, I don't know, I have a feeling there's something more to the list that we don't know the entirety of the list for OTG. I feel like this is like a small portion, I don't know. Of course, OG never really has, always, never really have had like big humongous lists but anyway let's go and get with the individual cards so we're gonna start off with wind up hunter ultimate offering and zen mighty since these three in my opinion coexist coexist together they go together quite nicely zen mighty and hunter decided to switch places hunter is now banned zen mighty is now at one which is pretty crazy when i first saw this list i didn't see hunter banned i saw zen mighty at one and i immediately shit bricks and I'm thinking, Konami, you didn't learn from the wind-up format or the wind-up hand-loop. But, well, they did learn, so no more hand-looping for you guys. So, because Hunter's now banned. Other thing is the fact that Zen Mighty does give wind more power, makes Shock a little more viable. But Offering is now banned, and Offering was one of the biggest key cards for a Shock Lock. It really helped out the deck get Shock Lock a little more effectively. So, Offering is banned, and that does hurt. So, my opinion of this Zimaya going to 1, yes, it does give lineups more power. I feel like it's a home improvement episode. More power! I used to be able to do a Tim Taylor grunt, but I can't do it anymore. Of course, I haven't done it in such a long time. <laughs> anyway, I don't think it's going to give them enough power. Because of the fact is, there's a lot of new archetypes coming out that are just more faster and more powerful than windups. I know, it's shocking, I know! Like, you have the kind of stellar 2.0s, which I don't remember their names. Whereas, you can easily exceed out of nowhere. Um, you have the Shadows, which we don't know a lot about them. We just know about their fusion card, which is like, hey, I'm going to fusion from the deck. So, you know, there's a lot of new things coming out that, in my opinion, can overpower windups. Am I calling the deck bad? Hell no! The deck's still good, and Zimini gives him even more power. I'm just saying that there are decks out there now that can pretty much overpower windups. But I do feel that we will see windups topping in the OCG every once in a while. I, ju I just think it's going to be become like Dark Worlds are, or... I, I don't really know what else to really say, but I, it's going to be like Dark Horse, where it's like, hey, a wind-up deck topped. Awesome! It's going to be like that random topping, in my opinion. Not insulting the deck, don't take it personally. It's just the, my opinion. I could be completely wrong, and wind-ups could just eat, could just destroy the entire OCG, and they made a huge mistake. Again, I could be wrong, but at the same time, that's my thoughts on it. Since now, the, since the three dra the four dragon rulers are now limited, it took y'all long enough to figure this out. OCG of Konami, Konami OCG, that putting the two wasn't gonna do jack shit, and putting them to one still isn't gonna do jack shit. They're not gonna be as potent as they were at two because here in the TC in TCG land, they're annoying, yes, but they're not. Topping, you're not winning every single regionals or every single YCS. They're not doing all the things that a lot of us expect them to do. They've become more tame to an extent, but you're still gonna see them a lot. You're still gonna see them in Heretic builds, uh, Mythic Blue Eyes, as much as I hate calling it 
put blue eyes with rulers or anything like that. So, you're going to still see Dragon Lord WCG. So, my opinion, just going to ban him outright. Um, but who knows? Because, especially if Pendulum Sum is coming out, because, gee, that's going to break a lot of shit. Big Daddy going to 2. Now, on a biased note, Dark I'm going to 2. Ayo, come on, come on, Dark I'm to 2. That's on a biased note, because I love Black Wings, I like zombies, and Dark Grum is so good in those specs. On a player's note, stay in OCG, don't do this in TCG. Now, the reason I say OCG because of the fact that they have more answers of Darkham Dragon. They have, well, I wouldn't say Shockmaster, but you could just spram over Shockmaster, like, Rawr, just die, Shockmaster, with my 28 body. You know? But they have Double Bottomless, Triple Compulse, now Triple Torrential, they have three Mirror Forces, three Macrocosmos, three Dimensional Fissures, that includes the Veilers, Phoenix Chains, and Breakthrough Skills that they have over there as well. They have a lot of advanced Darkham Dragon, not making him much of a threat over there. I think what's going to happen with Darkham Dragon is the BLS effect. Yes, Darkham Dragon is one of the most overpowered cards in this game, but considering how many ways you have to stop him, he's not going to do much in OCG. And I think what's going to happen is people are going to freak out that Darkham Dragon is back at 2. Same thing when BLS went from 0 to 1. People are going to freak out, say he's going to break the game, and he's not going to do anything. He's going to sit there looking pretty, not doing a whole lot. Yes, there are decks to abuse them, like Black Wings and Zombies. Two very good decks that have very excellent graveyard control that can easily whip out a Darkham Dragon out of their ass. But again, it's the same thing with, with wind-ups. There's just much more powerful decks out there that can just trump the big daddy himself. It's kind of weird. Darkham Dragon once was, it's still in my opinion, one of the most overpowered cards in the game. It's really stupid good, but has, in a sense, fallen to the wayside with a lot of these newer cards. Because Teledad format was one of the, was so stupid. Unless you were playing the deck. But the Dragon Ruler format were just a hundred times more retarded. So Dark Dragon is not going to do anything at 2 OCG. No but in TCG, since we have very limited options in our back row, Dark Dragon, if he came to tune the TCG, he would have put in some work. He would work his dark magic, since, you know, dark arms, haha, <laughs> his dark magic on us, and he will wreck shit. And also, I'm interested to see how this works with the shadow, since they are dark attributes, so I'm interested in that. Sacred Sword, who really cares? I don't. Now, the card would be unlimited that everybody only cares about, because Tour Guide, meh. Torrential Tribute, cool, but still, meh. We want to talk about the Draw Strike Fire, the DSF, the big, bad, level 7 synchro that wrecked shit way back in Russian Cat format and Blackwing format. Oh boy. Draw Strike Fire is back at 3, and he's not going to do anything. It's the thing with Dark Gum Dragon. I'm actually surprised they whipped his ass out onto 3. I figured they would put him from 0 to 1, see how he does. And then maybe put them from one to two or three, and then unless after in the next list. So this took me completely by surprise. That I didn't expect them to put Dark Fire straight to three, but it's understandable since it's only during the main phase one, and it's once per turn. So that limits your options on what you can do with Dark Strike Fighter. I know there's some fun little FTKs you can do with it using the Gaga cards, but I don't think that's going to be powerful enough or easy enough. To really take off and really wreck the formats. I just think that those type of FTKs, in my opinion, can be easily stopped. And you put all that work in, if you need to stop it, it's my little scoop. And two, it would just be something grand that you randomly see. Like, every once in a blue moon. Like, oh, I got FTK like Gaga Gods. It's not something that you're going to really see often, in my opinion. You know, it's not going to be as, you know... Oh, out there as a, like, Chain Burn, or, what is it, like, Crown of Countdown, Exodia. Those decks you'll see more often, but things like Agaga and Dark Strike Fighter, you won't see too much. Um, I do feel like Dark Strike Fighter still has use, especially in decks like Black Wings. 
um, you know, since we can, like, can easily get this thing out, I feel like he still has to use as a nice free burn card, and another good level 7 target that's not Black Rose or Armed Wing. And he's got decent attack at 2600 attack, so he's, he's a pretty big beat stick, he really is, he's a pretty big beat stick, not too hard to get out. But overall, he's not really going to do much, and since he's getting around in OCG, odds are he's going to get around in TCG, so expect him to come back in TCG, if, if not this list, in the next list. And he might come in this list because of the fact this Go series is right around the corner, and he might, and the new Errata Dark Strike Fighter will possibly pop his little head out in Gold Series. So, don't be surprised if he comes back to 1, 2, or 3, or at least 1, in our TCG list. And speaking of TCG list, I'm getting a gut feeling that our list is going to be pretty similar to the OCG list. Not saying the exact same as we've had before, but I think there might be a couple cards in here that are the same. Like, maybe Star Trek Fighter to 3, who knows, you know, Trench Tribute to 3, we don't really know what's going to happen, but... Anyway, what are your thoughts on the OCG list? I like it. My thoughts on the entire list is, it's pretty good. Shocking, yes. I never expected to see Dark Arm Dragon at 2, or Zimmy back at 1, and... <laughs> hell, I never thought they'd put Star Trek Fighter back to 3. I expected him to be at 1. But, it's shocking, but... It's an understandable changes. Like, again, they have more answers to these cards than we do in the TCG. So, because of that, it's shocking, yes. Understandable, yes. Do I like it? Yes, I do. I like it. I like it a lot. You just gotta do more of these guys, and it'll be a really good list. They are doing good with the OCG. You're doing good with your list. Um, hopefully that y'all can influence TCG a little bit more. And say, hey, y'all are doing a bad job with your lists. Kind of copy us a little bit. We know what we're doing. I feel like Oshi does know what they're doing with their list. And I am liking this list quite a bit. So anyway, give me your thoughts on the OCG list in the comment section below. And I'm curious what you have to say. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Uh, what cards? If you, ha if you had to pick, if you had to pick one of these cards in this OCG list, that's banned, limited, and might have unlimited, and had to put it over in the TCG list. Like, if you want a Dark Arm Dragon back at 2 in TCG or wherever you want it, you had to pick one of these cards and these specified sections to transfer over to the TCG, to the TCG list, what would it be? For me, it would have to be Torrential to 3. Because we need more monster hate. Especially if Dark Strike is coming back. Which I would not be surprised. But that will be mine. Torrential to 3. So what card would you like to see? Transfer from OCG to TCG. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will definitely see you guys next time.